Now, the story of a young man teaching math to the world. News Hour correspondent Spencer Michaels reports. So this is a, a quadratic equation, essentially. We're trying to find the zeros. of This, this disembodied right voice is heard every text. day like by tens of like thousands of students like struggling like with like math, like both in the U.S. and around the world. So what is x squared plus 4x plus 4? Well, uh, x, it's x plus 2 times x plus 2. 33-year-old Salman Khan recently quit his job as a hedge fund analyst to devote himself to an unpaid job teaching math on the Internet. Welcome to the presentation on basic addition. I know what you're thinking. Sal, these are cancers or cancer cells. Is the investors in the mortgage-backed securities. He has posted 1,200 lessons on YouTube, which appear on an electronic blackboard and range in subject from basic addition and advanced calculus to science and finance. And they are free. Introduction to trigonometry, is where I teach people about the trig functions. This is one of the more popular videos. This has 179,000 views. And you know, this is just what, what sine, cosine, and tangent are. Khan lives in California's Silicon Valley with his wife, a rheumatologist in training at Stanford, and their new baby. He got the idea for Khan Academy four years ago when he taught a young cousin how to convert kilograms to grams. Many American students have trouble with math, and studies show they lag behind their counterparts in Asia and Europe in both math and science. With Khan's help, his cousin got good at math, and he eventually had a new career tapping into anxieties around the world. Now he records his lessons from a converted closet in the back of his bedroom. He never goes on camera. It kind of feels like the voice in their head. You're looking at it, it kind of feels like someone's over your shoulder talking in your ear as opposed to someone at a blackboard that's distant from you. <coughs> Sorry for starting the presentation with a cough. But now I want to continue with the 45-45-90 triangles. Although he is not the first person to teach on the internet, his simple operation has attracted more eyeballs than most university sites, and his fame has spread. The all-girl Castalea School in Palo Alto invited Khan to speak, and he immediately connected to the student body. You tell me that you really don't know how, you know, dividing decimals is still kind of this uh, little gray area, and, and if, if, it, if dividing decimals actually is, you're not alone. Dividing decimals is kind of the one thing that no one wants to admit that they kind of forgot how to do. He exuded pride in his expanding online audience. More and more people uh, kept watching it, and now it's reaching uh, actually on the order of about 100,000 students now a, a month uh, and uh, 40,000 video views a day. It was the concept of short, repeatable lessons that attracted high school senior Bridget Meany, who admitted she'd had trouble with seventh grade algebra. I think the teachers are good, but they can't go at a pace that's um, like perfect for everyone, but um, I like the concept of knowing something in class but then going back and pressing pause or rewind and actually getting a deeper understanding of it. Shy students who don't ask questions in class may benefit the most from Khan's videos, says Kimberly Knapp who teaches math at Castalea. But his lessons aren't a substitute for the classroom. I don't think that there's a perfect replacement for the work that we do and just the kind of conversations that students and teachers engage in together. But Khan thinks maybe lecture halls and classrooms have their limitations. Originally, he kept his lessons short because of YouTube restrictions. Now he thinks short is better. I've gotten researchers telling me that you don't realize 10 minutes we've done studies is how long someone can have a high level of concentration. And anything beyond that, you kind of lose it. And I think we've all had that experience in sitting in college where you can be with the professor for about 10, 15 minutes, and then you kind of lose it. A lot of math students apparently agree. I talked via the internet with Cody Woodward in Anchorage, Alaska, who uses Khan's lessons at college. It has helped me immensely in the grades for my math classes, and I've also learned a lot. Internet instruction, be it the Khan Academy or taped university lectures, could revolutionize education in remote third world locations, where access to high quality instruction is frequently unavailable. That's the hope of Neil Radia, a young software programmer at Cisco Systems. 
He and fellow volunteers at World Possible, working on their vacations, are bringing online teaching to Africa and India for starters. When Radia and Mega Jane first traveled to Ethiopia, they found thousands of brand new computers sitting idle because they couldn't connect to the internet and therefore couldn't get online instruction. A great thing to do would to be putting a lot of these resources on a single local server that we could bring to the colleges, to the universities, to community centers. We came across the Khan Academy and we emailed him and asked him if we could reproduce some of his uh, material on our servers and he was very willing to help us out. You'd be surprised how fast these kids learn and pick these things up so it isn't strange to them. They've heard of this and they are excited to use it. For Khan, teaching math and science and finance is just the beginning. He's ready to expand his YouTube site to include whatever strikes his fancy. I want to do everything. I want to do history, I want to do grammar, I want to do literally every, every subject. So far, except for a little advertising revenue, he is donating his time and equipment. It's a one-man operation, but it's gotten so big he expects to start soliciting outside support to keep his academy growing.